The next myth conception in quenching comes from probably a TV show that's been pretty popular. Everybody thinks you have to quench in oil. If you quench in anything but oil, you've ruined your material. It's going to crack. It's going to warp. Absolute garbage. Not going to work. Well, that isn't true. Now, every steel has a different quenching medium that it is quenched in. Some of the higher tech steels are air cooling, things like H13, S7. You bring it out at critical temperature, you let it air cool, and then it's hardened. So quenching that kind of a steel in oil could crack it. That could be a real problem. You're going to get it too hard quenching in oil or water. So air cooling, so you need to know what you're working with and cool air cooling steels in air. Then there are oil cooling steels, and there are lots and lots of steels that cool in oil. 01, 5160, 4140. A lot of the more common steels people work with are oil hardening steels. Of course, there are also water hardening steels. W1 is a water hardening steel. The W stands for water. And that, that is designed to quench in water. There's a product out there that I'm using more and more for making tools out of, referred to as Flutagon or Atlantic 33. That is a water hardening steel that is not only water hardening, but it is also a non-tempering steel. You water harden it, you go to work with it, you don't have to temper it after you harden it. So that's something that if you want the best results from it, you quench it in water. If you quench it in oil, you're not gonna get the best results. Then there's still other steels that require quenching in brine, which is a very dense salt water, and that's the fastest of the more conventional quenching mediums. There aren't a lot of steels that need to be quenched in brine, but that is a much faster quench even than water.